Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Nora Zimmerman and I am here today with Rebecca and with Craig from Kingston Liberal Synagogue. And um, today we're going to be talking about the website that we did um, over two years ago, just before the lockdown, it got published. Um, and it's a kind of a review as how things are going and what happened and um, how they got on with it, basically. So maybe you want to introduce yourselves uh, briefly and say who you are and what you do. That'd be lovely. So it gives a little bit of context for this chat. All right, I'll start. <laughs> uh, I'm Craig. I am chair of the synagogue. So we have a, a council uh, actually, the trustees that, that uh, meet regularly, uh, I chair that, and I also get involved in all sorts of things uh, to do with running the center. Excellent, thank you. I'm Rebecca, I am the deputy chair, uh, so I work very closely with Craig. I also um, am the press and publicity officer, so as well as running the social media channels, um, I probably use the website the most in the sense that I will post to it and update it periodically as well so i'm sort of yeah responsible for, for, for keeping the website up to date and fresh with lots of content that's brilliant thank you very much so yes and we work together for how long a good six months i'd say on and off uh, when we were kind of dismantling the old website and looking at how things had been done and looking also at the processes behind the scenes because the the synagogue website is a, a kind of complex layered structure behind the scenes, but on the front, we wanted it to be super simple for uh, prospective members to use, for people that were interested in Judaism, in liberal Judaism, to come and you know peruse the website with ease, and actually for people to find the information they were looking for uh, without having to go through rabbit holes and getting lost or getting to dead ends. So in a way, uh, we had lots of conversations and we had to um, kind of almost create systems. I remember we had long conversations about how does a member join the synagogue? What are the steps? And then I remember we were also going backwards and forwards and then the steps were also having to be approved by the committee, you know, so we kind of rationalized some of the things. So if someone new could come to the website and would know what to expect when they were trying to join or when they were going through a conversion process, um, we just wanted to make all of that super easy as well as having a wonderful website that communicated the funky <laughs> vibe of Kingston Liberal Synagogue, didn't we? <laughs> We had fun, I have to say. Oh, we had loads of fun. Yes. yes. Good times. Good times. <laughs> yes. 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 So, um, yeah, I'll be curious. And it was quite timely when the website got published, right? Yeah. So, yeah, tell me more about what happened since it got published. Wait, do you want to take this? Thinking back to uh, that time, of course, that was just before the lockdown so i think we just gone live and well hey about a week before or something wasn't it it was so close we were effectively had to close the physical doors of the synagogue uh, we could continue to uh, well in fact no at the beginning we we had to we, we couldn't even go back into the synagogue either. so um we at the synagogue there's a whole load of things that go go on. People, you know, we have services the weekend, but it's more than that. There is there is classes, there's social events. It's it's a very active uh, community, and all that came to a halt physically. So there was no um, hub for people to meet. Yes. And so we took everything online, and what we did was to set up very, very quickly um, an online community. So we, uh, we learned how to uh, live stream in about 10 minutes, <laughs> one morning. <laughs> With an iPad, random. on a lectern. <laughs> um, 
and progressively we got more uh, accomplished we had some expert help with equipment and you know getting the sound right getting the, the picture right and um we have now got you know a, a pretty um proficient system mm. uh there are two cameras that, that uh, are on the wall that we use regularly now even even now that we've all returned to the synagogue we nevertheless have picked up a lot of people online um, who still find it easier either because you know it's just not convenient or they live a long way away uh, to get to to the synagogue um, and we've got a rotor for doing the the live streaming we use some software to make it clever and zoom in on on various things that are going on so um th there was a lot of we, we did a lot to uh, to uh to take kings to the synagogue online and our members were really really um grateful for that and the website um also really kind of was part of that whole sort of i guess portfolio of online presence that we developed over that time so it was just really timely um because because of our online presence both in terms of the streaming of the services but also we're very active on social media as you know um a lot of people um and a lot of people we found during the lockdown were looking for something meaningful mm. and we found a huge amount of people who were who possibly had an interest in judaism or a jewish heritage that maybe they hadn't explored before and they they were going online because that's all they could do at that time mm. to find a community so obviously they might have come across us by just googling and coming across our website or they might have come across us on social media and then wanting to find out more but either way that would then point them to the website and i'm so grateful that we did manage to get that website live before that time obviously we didn't know what was going to happen um, because when they did find our website, what they saw was a real reflection of who we are, which is something that is very colourful, very vibrant, um, very welcoming. Uh, it's got beautiful images on, our, on it of all of the different things that we do. So as soon as you go to the front page, I think you're kind of wowed by, wow, this is a community that I want to be part of. And I can kind of see just by looking at the photos, what Craig was saying about all of the different things we do, not just the social stuff, but so not just the religious stuff, but also the social stuff. Um, so it's really been part of of creating that real vibrant presence and then drawing in members. So obviously we have gained a huge amount of new members during the lockdown. And I think the website has really helped in doing that. So it's been great. We always had the challenge um, going back over the years of trying to attract new members. We need new members. And we have people who lived even lived nearby the synagogue who didn't know of our existence um walking past every morning that they, they didn't know it was a synagogue um but we always knew that once people visited stepped over the threshold they got to meet us and they experienced something uh, one of our events uh, but they loved it and they they joined but it was that that initial um the challenge of initially getting them across that threshold and what we found um and the website was an important part of this um is that on you know get the online being present online got them across and the website showed them in it as rebecca was saying and it's all in its uh, vibrancy um you know what we are and it was it, it did it did that job so it was the answer to the the, the question that we were having we? <laughs> um, for many uh, for quite some time yeah. yeah that's brilliant because as a designer and especially for a, an organization that is you know a, what, what what i call a brick and mortar mortar mm. you know business or organization you know it's not that you're selling services online you know this is a brick and mortar organization what my job is is to replicate the in-person experience of being with the, those people with the community onto the website onto the online space so for, for people to you know and this is the sequence of how people usually come to you know buy services you know they follow you know a social media post and then usually they might just click onto a blog post 
or then they go onto the website. And if the website manages to communicate, you know, the experience of what they can expect if they join, if they come in person, um, or even if they come to a social event, that's my job done. And, you know, I'm very happy with that. Thank you for... Oh, definitely that. job done, Nora. Definitely <laughs> job done. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Yeah, but all, part, part of that is the way that the the website is laid out it's easy mm. it's easy to navigate and we've had that feedback from mm. uh, from some of the people that have joined us mm. uh, it's not over complicated um, wow. and it, it brings as we were saying it brings the the, the, the some of the um the, the, the community vibe to, to, uh, into the uh, vibe yes exactly yes very good very good yeah, we did work on the navigation and how we structure the website a lot, didn't we? We did. Were. Yes, mm. yes, because it's like um, it's like building a home in a way. You know, you just can't put a room here and a room there and a room there. You know, it's like when you go to some houses and they've got an extension here and another extension, it just becomes difficult to navigate. Mm. Um, so to have a website that is well structured, you know, underneath. And then it looks really simple on the front for the people that are using it. That is another job done. So fantastic. Yeah. Also, you had to bear with me asking you all, all those questions and <laughs> questioning you, didn't you? <laughs> but it's interesting because it makes you think about things that you might take for granted. Mm. So it makes you think, actually, how, how do we do that? And then, of course, you then think, well, actually, is that the best way of doing things? So, you know, it's actually really, I think it's valuable to kind of like, you know, examine your business processes um, mm. as part of it, because it obviously will always throw up things that potentially you could be doing better and streamlining. So, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting it, it, process. Yeah, it was an interesting angle to it. How, how it, yes, as you say, how it feeds into the business processes. Um, and uh, it's, it's a tool for making them a lot work a lot better more and yeah. more effectively mm, fantastic fantastic and also i've got another question about using the website mm. behind the scenes you know mm. especially for you rebecca that mm. you are updating it and mm. um, from what i see which is oh, fantastic you know to keep the website fresh to mm. add new posts to yeah. add you know new bits and pieces that is really telling you know google um traffic that you know this website is alive so mm -hmm. it also ranks up you know when it goes yeah. on the google searches yeah. so yeah tell us a bit um yeah i mean i regularly update it i mean the main thing i do because i do like I say the press and publicity the main thing i do is update what we call our blog page um and that will be probably on average once a week or once every two weeks but obviously depending on what's happening sometimes it might be two or three posts in a week and then you know depending on the time of year but i would say yeah once every week or two weeks we we i'll put a new blog post up there which i'll then share across social media as well so that's a real kind of driver of traffic to the website um and that's pretty easy to do um i mean i'm certainly wouldn't describe myself as a uh, tech wizard or anything like that it's re relatively straightforward to, to, to post that content and I've also sort of like tweaked the actual kind of overall uh, website as well so I've had you know I refresh some of the photos on the on the front page just to keep those up to date um, uh, and current and little tweaks to head headers and footers here and there it's Again, I certainly wouldn't describe myself as an expert, but it's relatively intuitive to use. And we've got a wonderful developer, as you know, as well. So when I have come across things that I haven't been up to work out how to do, I'll shoot him an email. And normally within 10 minutes, he's done it for me. So, you know, it's been it's a joy to use, really. It's no problem at all um, to keep it current and update it when I need to. So, um, yeah. I remember when um, when we were developing the website, we were looking at other synagogues websites and so often you see unmaintained websites mm. out of date stuff so that was that was a key thing for us is how do we create something which is easy to maintain and i think we've succeeded yes that's true mm. oh well fantastic so thank you Noah. oh Brilliant. you're very welcome <laughs> i'm very pleased because visitors can find what they need you know, you as the publicity officer can do what you need to do behind the scenes. 
And it's also bringing the results, you know, overall of, you know, new members joining um, yeah. and making it easy for them to, you know, find uh, their way through. Yeah, Anything absolutely. Anything else that you would like to add to this? Just a big thank you, I think, for uh, for your help. It's been it's been a really lovely working with you, uh, and um, yeah, it's long may it continue. And uh, yeah, 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 it was fun. It was a fun project to be involved <laughs> in. It really was, um, and it was and lovely because it has such a tangible outcome at the end of it as well. Mm. It's just really, like I say, a joy to use. Really, fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming online and chatting. Oh, no worries. Mm -hmm.